Hi there. I'm going to work on my spoon drawings today. I was going to go out, this is Saturday morning, I was going to go out and do some urban sketching, but it's still kind of chilly out there, so I think I'm going to wait another week. And I am going to work on some things here at home, but I want to do some spoon drawings. Now, if you remember from my other videos, I started out by doing, working out a composition, thinking three spoons vertically up at the top of the page, two at the bottom, one this, one this way, and one this way. Then I did a detailed drawing of the spoon handle here. Both of these pages do, are not prepped with anything. It's just the regular paper that's in this large delusions journal. Then over here, I prepped my page with glazing medium. And since I have shown this, I've done some work on this. I wanted to spray a fixative on it after I sketched it. And when I did, it caused the water soluble media on my spoon to run. So because I probably put too much fixative on it and the fixative naturally sat on top of the glazing medium too and it caused it to run. So I've done a little bit more sketching on this since my last video. Then I gessoed this page. This is gesso on top of the glazing, uh, glazing medium. But I wanted to work with a gessoed surface. And over here, I might work on this page which again has nothing I'm still deciding but I thought before I got started I want to work on I'm going to go on this page and work on doing the back of the spoon okay what I want to do I'm going to cover this one up I don't want it to show while I'm working on the back of the spoon. Okay, so I want to draw, sketch. And I believe I'm gonna start with my black, black Faber-Castell on a gessoed surface. And I'm just going to get the feel of how this is going to work on my page. And you can see this time when I'm sketching, I'm not drawing the outline first, I'm blocking in. I'm shading in the bowl of that spoon, which is interesting. Shape this way. Then it comes down a little. Has some shading up in there. The light source hits it here and here. And then the reflection, there's some reflection from my big window right up in here off the bowl of the spoon. But this time, it's interesting to try to represent the spoon, bowl of the spoon as it's pointing up and the bowl of the spoon as it's facing down. Um, getting that space is a challenge. Now when I'm sketching on here, I can very much see and feel the brush strokes left by my gesso. That's the way it is. I was gonna set my timer, I forgot to set my timer. Let's see if I can do it manually. It's 8.22. Let's see, I'm not gonna time myself per se, but let's see when I feel like I'm done, how long it took me. 
It's 8.22 right now. This comes around this way. Now, I'm only to this point on the spoon. So, I'm not getting the entire spoon on the page. And I'm not going to attempt it either. I think what I will do is bring this side down. And let this side kind of say, I'm going off the end of the page if you don't stop me. Now, I've got the shape of the spoon in there. Now, let's see if we can work on the shadow a bit more. Because there's shadow underneath of here, and it falls this way. And then there's shadow coming. Almost like that. And it falls. It's coming right down close to that spoon like that. And of course the shadow is appears to be darker than the spoon, but I'm not really getting that here. I guess this is where I come in with some lines. I'm going to go to my water brush now. In mm. Do some water brushing on here. This is really fun to do. way. And I keep moving my spoon. I think I said in my last video that I looked up the design of this spoon on the internet and I found an Etsy shop that had this same design. And they wanted $17 for this spoon, and they had dated it, the design, as 1906. Which would make this spoon, I think I said, around uh, just about, not quite, this is 2015. Just about 110 years old. And I think that's amazing. <laughs> I own a spoon that's 110 years old. Yeah, I think I want some more darker darkness in here, but instead of doing it with my pencil, I think I'm going to get out my black soot stain. And I should have a paper, I guess. Get it started. But I'll work off of this so I don't waste any. Let's put some black soot stain in here. Now I do find this is a gessoed surface on a glazed surface, on top of a glazed surface. And I do not, I do not uh, feel it puddling as much. 
Oops, I kind of got that. But it still puddles. But that's because I think I got that, still have that glaze on underneath of it. And I sure don't have that yet, do I? Let's get my sponge out. Of course, when you want them, they're not here. There it is. I think if I want to do any sponging, I've got to do it right away or it's not going to work. On this. sure I'm happy with that. I'm not sure I'm getting the right. Let's dry it a little. See that water's still puddling, which is not entirely bad. I kind of like that. Now let's come back in with my pencil. Come back in with my stabilo. Because it's darker. See if I can. This paper's still pretty wet. It's not my stabilo. This area in here. Actually, this is a little bit better. Yeah, 
kind of like that. And then it's got some darkness in here. That brings it down. Put on my stabilo again. A lot of different values going on here. A lot of different shapes and it's very interesting to try to represent it. Now let's see if I can just put some highlight in here. Maybe a little bit too much of a highlight there. And you see how much darker it is in here? Bring that down. Now it's beginning to puddle on me. I don't know if you can hear me. And then it's darker in here. It's darker in there. Let's dry this again. Just kind of represent that. dark. Hmm. 
I like my shadow. You know what? I almost think I'm going to leave it alone. I'm going to sign it. Uh, today is March 3, 28, 2015. I'm going to leave it just like it is. It is 838 and I started at 822. My goodness, don't tell me that only took me 16 minutes. I'm shocked. Didn't I say it was, oh wait, 22, yeah, that only took me 16 minutes. Hey, I might get journaling by fives time <laughs> eventually This is a China marker. Three twenty eight. Two oh one five. It's a little bit harder to write with it. You have to tear the paper off, and I don't like the paper doesn't tear well. I don't really care for these, but it's supposed to be able to pull the string and pull all this paper off, but I find that paper doesn't tear like it should. I end up getting my knife and cutting it. But it does not move with water, so it's good for signing. I'm going to leave it just like that. Well, you know what? I might put some. <laughs> I'm done with the spoon, so we're counting it as 16 minutes, but I want to... I want to border this a little. Maybe with my... brush. Never fear, I'm not leaving it that way. I'm just going to get some color on it. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am eventually going to get back over to doing these. Only I may not do them on this page. <laughs> I may gesso a page, a double spread, and do them across two. I don't know. I may practice on this. We'll see what I feel like doing the next time. I'm pretty happy with that. Thanks for watching. And I will see you on the next page.